the COVID coverage, Contra Costa County health officials say the Omicron subvariant BA2 is becoming more prevalent. Now they're basing that on wastewater samples. The public health department says this could lead to a sharp increase in COVID case rates, hospitalizations, even deaths. Cronforce Philippe Chagall explains. Contra Costa Health Services tracks wastewater samples to monitor COVID-19 infection levels through both the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's National Wastewater Surveillance System and a program maintained by UC Berkeley. Although case rates continue to decrease from the height of Omicron variant cases in January, County Health Officer Dr. Orietz Vielli says the decrease is starting to flatten and the subvariant BA2 is becoming a growing concern. We are keeping a close eye on it. It's very hard to predict what will happen, um, but recent wastewater sampling suggests this subvariant is accounting for about half the cases in our county so far, and we're also doing whole genome sequencing um, as well to monitor the situation. Dr. Itzvieli alerting the Board of Supervisors of this development during the board's virtual meeting Tuesday. Week over week, every week, it's a higher percentage of the cases, and we are concerned that this may lead to an increase in cases hospitalizations or even deaths in the coming weeks. The seven-day average of new COVID-19 cases was 2,884 on January 9th, but is now down significantly to about 52. The number of COVID-19 related hospitalizations has also dropped dramatically in the same time frame from 291 to 32. Still, Dr. Itzvieli says do not throw away your masks. It could be that we have a new surge, a new variant in the future, and we may recommend or even require universal masking in indoor public spaces again. Nearly 81% of the county's eligible population is fully vaccinated and half has been boosted. In Contra Costa County, Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.